Thanks for your recent purchase of our Raindrip automatic watering kit. Installation of this kit should only take about 20 minutes. We have also provided a link that will show you how to program the timer if you need it. Let's get started with the installation. The timer that comes in this kit requires water pressure greater than 25 PSI. That means you cannot use this timer to control water flow from, say, a rain barrel. Additionally, this timer must be installed on an above ground hose bib. Do not install it on a hose or location where the timer will be laying on the ground. First, you need to locate the hose bib that is near the landscape area you want to water. Next, take the timer and hold it up to the hose bib with the metal collar in line with the bottom of the hose bib. Hand tighten the collar onto the hose bib until the timer is securely connected. Do not over tighten the collar. The kit also comes with a Y splitter. The purpose of a Y splitter is to allow usage of your hose bib while the hose bib is connected to the timer. You can also use it to water in two different directions off the same timer, but it will require an additional purchase of supply line and feeder lines. Now that the timer is in place, screw on the filter regulator and attach the supply line. This may look like a lot of parts, but you will only really need the supply line. The other parts are provided to help you tee off the tubing, turn corners, or cap off a cut end. Now that your supply line is connected to the timer, lay out the supply line throughout your landscape in a way that will allow the tubing to run in the middle of the landscape. Push the metal stakes into the ground to hold your supply line in place. Once your supply line is laid out, position each of the four feeder lines at intervals that will allow the sprinkler to adequately water the ground cover or flower bed area. We recommend placing one feeder line every eight to 10 feet. The sprinklers have an adjustable knob that allows you to regulate the amount of water coming out of the sprinkler between four and 20 gallons per hour. Once you have positioned the feeder lines, grasp the supply line and one of your clamp and pierce feeder lines in the manner shown. Firmly press on the fitting to puncture the supply line and ensure the fitting has wrapped itself fully around the supply line. Do this for the remaining feeder lines. Sometimes you may need more supply line or feeder lines. You can find those by visiting raindrip.com. We have also provided a quick watering guide that can help you select the right number of feeder lines for each plant type. So that's all there is to it. If you have any additional questions, please contact us at raindrip at raindrip.com. For more than 30 years, Raindrip, a subsidiary of NDS, has been a leader in efficient irrigation solutions for the residential market. For more information on our products, other efficient irrigation products, and special offers, visit raindrip.com.